The tetanus vaccine is a little different than the other vaccines we've talked about in that tetanus is a bacteria that's infectious but not contagious. We're not going to get it from other people. In fact, we're going to get it from something as common as dirt. Now, it's not specifically the dirt. There's a bacteria that lives in it called Clostridium tetani. And the bacteria itself is actually very easy to kill. It's very sensitive to heat and to oxygen. But it has the capability of producing a spore, kind of like a seed, if you will, that can last for months up to even 40 years in dirt and still be able to cause disease. Now, it doesn't happen just by you touching the dirt. It happens from that bacteria being introduced into your body, typically with a deep penetrating wound that's dirty. Everybody always hears that you're supposed to worry about stepping on a rusty nail, but actually doesn't have anything to do with rust. It has to do with that nail was probably in the dirt. That's the reason it got rusty. Now what happens is that bacteria gets into that deep wound and starts to grow. It then releases one of the most potent neurotoxins known to man that then spread through the bloodstream and the lymphatic and then affects the neurotransmitters and allows muscles to go in unopposed contraction. Now tetanus can happen one of three ways. It can happen through localized, which is actually fairly rare and very rarely lethal, in which you just have these uncontrolled spasms in the area that was affected by the wound. Another very rare one is cephalic tetanus, which usually happens with a wound that's in the face or around the ear. And this will just cause localized spasms of the face. But the most common is generalized tetanus, where you just have uncontrolled spasms of the entire body. It typically starts in the face and the neck, and it results in your jaw locking down. Thus the common term for tetanus called lockjaw. Now these spasms typically can start anywhere from 3 to 14 days after the wound happened with an average of about 7 to 8. The spasms can last for minutes at a time and can happen from anywhere from 1 to 4 weeks within resolution completely taking months. Complications include actual fractures of your spine or your long bones just from the severe contractions of the muscle. You can also have complications such as seizures, aspiration pneumonia, high blood pressure, and even death. The vaccine is available and given at 2 months, 4 months, 6 months, again at 12 to 15 months. A booster given between 4 and 6 years of age, 11 to 12 years of age, and every 10 years after that. Now it's only good for actually 5 years for a duty wound. So if you've had your vaccine within the last five years and you get a deep penetrating trauma, you don't need another tetanus vaccine. But if it's been longer than five years, we'll typically give you one at the time we see you in the doctors, you know, for the penetrating wound or if you need stitches. Now, the vaccine has been very effective and has been given for almost 100 years now. So we've seen a huge decrease in the amount of tetanus in the United States. Infants can actually get tetanus through infected umbilical cords. This is very rare in the United States, but actually still fairly common in the world, causing over 250,000 deaths per year in infants, usually around the time they're 14 to 21 days of age. So it's important to get this vaccine because the common myth of, oh, I'll just stay away from sick visits, doesn't work when you're talking about dirt.